How you doing, Brian? What's wrong to say I don't know? No, it's better to admit it to yourself. Does ever get any easier? I hope not. Shouldn't. You coming, Michael? Yeah, I just need a few minutes. They are arranging a debrief. I'll be there. Days like this, huh? Yeah. Justin and Mandy, they at home? Justin's on his book tour. Longest month of the year. And Mandy? Uh, she stays with Brooke when I'm working. Do you ever need anyone to talk to? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. I just need some sleep. Long day. Yeah. I would never. Do you want to talk when you're home? No. I can wait up. Yeah, it's already after 10 for you. Get some sleep. I'll be out before my head hits the pillow. I miss you. Me too. Talk tomorrow? Definitely. Maybe a little phone sex? <laughs> you wish. Honestly, Justin, everything's fine. Hey, Michael, they're ready at the debrief. Thanks. Hey, Shane. Hey, Justin. Come on, Brian, let's give him a minute. Oh, Nurse Brian. Yeah. Still crushing hard? Yeah, I told you, Justin, it, you know, it's nothing. Standard after a code. Yeah. You don't always have to be the strong one, you know. Is that what I am? You know what I mean. I better go. Talk to you tomorrow. Love you. Love you more. Luck Dragon. I don't understand why learning the quadratic equation is so vital to my life's existence. Well, you know, when quadratic hunger game season rolls around, your very survival will depend on it. I'm pretty sure I'd be the first to go. I'd be right there with you. I should get paid for going to school. Uh, not if I didn't. Where's your poster? Andy didn't like it, so I put it in the closet. How could he possibly not approve? He wasn't a big fan of the show. Hair is one of the greatest shows ever. Well, he just uh, gets weird about some things. When do you start rehearsals for the next one? As soon as we get back from New York. What's it called again? I haven't decided on a title yet. That's really cool. Well, you know, one of my fellow theater grads from college is also in the cast. 
<sighs> I'm so excited for this one. Hi, Daddy. Hey, Mouse, what's up? This couch is not suiting my uterus's needs right now, and it's seriously not okay. Um... Hey, Justin. How goes the book tour? Amazing, as always, but so ready to be home. Sounds about right. Two weeks, Daddy, and then we can all be together. Counting the minutes. I am so ready to be out of school. Ugh, I need your faces in person. Us too. Dad tries to act like he's tough, but I know. Me too. But don't tell him we know. <laughs> Deal. I haven't heard from him yet tonight. He has to stay late. Is everything okay? They, they had a code to debrief. That must be so hard. Give him lots of love. We will. Hello. What's that? Uh, someone's knocking on the door. Oh, loudly. Andy, what are you doing here? I need an invitation to see my girl. Of course not, but I have been here. Hey, kid. Mandy. Mandy. Who is that? Nobody. How's Chicago? Should have told me she was going to be here. Oh, I did. Justin's on tour and Michael is working. You do too much for them. I do exactly what I want to do. I need to be important to you. Oh, you know you are. Prove it. <laughs> Go home. Don't grab me like that. Don't tell me what to do. Andy, please. Go home. I need to see you. <sighs> Monday. Okay, I take her home on Monday. Damn, babe. It's too long. Your friends are coming over tomorrow for a sleepover, but I'll call you as soon as I get back from dropping her off. Darn right. Kid needs to know where she stands on the priority list. And he knows exactly where she stands. Show me where I am. You are an adult. I think you can figure that one out on your own. <laughs> Knock it off. I just want to take you out. Treat you to a special night. I like that. <clears throat> the timer's going off. Can you turn off the stove? I'll be right in. Should be right in, kid. Mandy. Mandy. I'll call you Monday. Better. Something smells amazing. Megan Graham, 13 year old female at the river with her family. Father witnessed her disappear under the water. He was able to pull her out with the help of others nearby. It's an area known for strong undercurrent, making retrieval difficult. EMS on scene within minutes, CPR was started. She was under for approximately nine minutes, intubated in the field. She remains unresponsive. No carotid pulse, no palpable femoral pulse. Resume chest compressions. Give one amp of epi. One. Chuck, two, start a bolus three, of warm, two. normal saline. Copy that. Pulling one amp of epi. One amp of epi in. And title is 15. Good chest compressions, Michael. Copy that. 20. And title, 15. 30. Full rainbow, Dr. Stone. Plus of EBG and lactate, please, Karen. Putting in the lab orders. Temp, 35 Celsius. Any allergies? No, no. How much does she weigh? Uh, 100. 110. And are there any changes to allergies? No. Thank you. Check a blood sugar. Prepare and hold one meg of atropine. At 100 pounds, Megan weighs 50 kilos. I agree with 50 by carb. Copy that. One milligram atropine ready and on hold. Chuck, can you help set up suction, please? Sure. Coming up on two minutes. You're ready to trade with me, Brian. Well, you're doing great CPR. End title still 15. Blood sugar is at 50. Casey, one amputee, 50. Thank you. Sucks an atomic day. We're given in the field approximately After this break, minutes. I want to check for trauma. I'll be Brian. ready. Hold compressions. Check pulse. Double trauma. Water shows a systole. One. To so prep and hold one amp of epi. Amp of epi. Ready. Amp of epi. Ready. 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 Ready.
but it's my recommendation that we stop these interventions. No, you have to bring her back! Megan! <laughs> Megan, wake up, please! Stop compressions. The last time daddy and I tried to do this, it was a mess. I have no doubt. He has the most ridiculous accent. I can attest to that. It was a travesty to call it Italian. Think of it as ammunition. Parents are great at handing it to you. The key is video proof. Nope, not worth the risk. My dads would post it. Truth. Respect. Horrifying. You've got to see the positive in it. Just think of how much worse it could be. Worse? Oh yeah, your dads have a few more years to explore all the possible ways to embarrass you. Terrific. Andy. Hey babe. What are you doing here? I brought supplies. I told you, I have been here for the weekend. Can't have a proper ladies night without all the necessary supplies. Oh, I see pizza making is well underway. Impressive masterpieces. Why, thank you, good sir. We concur. Why, particularly like your color palettes, miss. Yes, it is impressive, isn't it? Oh, the proper heat has been obtained, my lady. May I place the gourmet delicacies into the cooking apparatus? Why, certainly. Who's this? Who's this? I asked you first. Dad? Maybe. Hang on, Michael. Hey, Dad. What was that? How's the pizza making going? How was work? Baby daddy? What the hell? Justin did it as a joke. He's real hilarious. I just haven't changed it yet. Maybe you should get on that then. Maybe you should leave. Ugh, Andy. I'm out of here. Love you too, Dad. Good night. Night, Mouse. He's home? Yeah, he sounds tired. Well, I'm sure he is. He doesn't sleep well when your daddy's out of town. This isn't that. We'll check in on him tomorrow. Andy left? He works early, but he wanted to make sure we were having fun. He's very handsome. Only the finest of gentlemen will do. Now, shall we uh, prep the biscuits for baking? I thought we were making cookies. Cookies are for peasants. We shall eat biscuits. Otherwise known as <laughs> uh, chocolate chip. Absolutely. Bring it on. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 you have to bring it back. You have to. You I'm have so to. sorry. I'm so sorry.
but it's my recommendation that we stop these interventions. No! No, no, no! You have to keep trying! You have to keep trying! Please! please. Megan, wake up! Wake up! Megan, please wake up! Garner, get it together. I see how you are. Justin? Gone for two weeks and it's already back to Garner. I, I didn't... I know. I'm only kidding, my love. Come here. Rest. When did you go home? I just got here. I'm glad. It's all right. I tried. I really tried. We know. I'm just... Oh, I'm so tired. Sleep. She, 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 did, she didn't have to die. Well, apparently she did. <laughs> what? I knew you could never live up to it. Justin? Not a luck dragon at all, are you? How could you say that? Stop that! Stop what, Michael? Brooke? Once again... I'm here to do what you can. If only you could actually contribute something meaningful to this family. I do contribute. Ah! Stop it! Oh my god! Why stop, Michael? Always the most self-deprecating person I know. You should be enjoying this. I'm not. Always the most consummate perfectionist. Thinks he's everything to everyone. I... I don't. Ah! Loved me. I do. You know I do. You would let me die. Uh, what? Hey. Sorry, I thought you'd be awake already. I am now. How did you sleep? <sighs> Terrific. Are you being sarcastic? Does it matter? Matters to me. <sighs> it's been a long night, Justin. Honestly, there's nothing. Then please talk to someone. <sighs> I have to get ready for work. Yep, me too. I guess I'll talk to you. One more day, and then I'm off for the week. I'm glad. Mouse comes home tomorrow. Good. <sighs> it's too quiet with both of you gone. I miss you too. Eleven days. We're hopeless. <laughs> yeah, well, thank God it's only once a year. <laughs> yeah, me 
Maybe, maybe I should become one of those, you know, like reclusive writers that never makes public appearances. Hey, it worked for Bruce. <laughs> it's too late. They would hunt you down. <laughs> yeah, they would. They would. But we'd never hear them once I, you know, insulate all of our walls with wine corks. So. Advice? Sure. Hmm. Tylenol, a large glass of water, and a long hot shower. I can hear it in your voice, Michael. Headache, dehydrated, exhausted. Who's the medical professional in the family? <laughs> the only one not taking care of himself? <laughs> I will. I promise. You go to Green Bank today? Yep. Bookstore in every corner, but no cell phones allowed. <laughs> but I'll text you as soon as we get out of the quiet zone. Sounds like a plan. I love you. <laughs> love you more. Hey, sweetie. I promise she's missed you. She hides it well. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine. You look tired. It's been a long weekend. I'm sure I'll get some rest now that I'm off for a few days. Lots of water. You've been speaking to Justin. Uh, he's worried about you, as is Mandy. What's for dinner? <sighs> The depth of your anguish over my lack of presence is staggering. Of course I missed you. But seriously, I'm starving. Can you stay? Oh, no, I need to get back home today, Andy. Thanks again. Anytime. See you soon, Bean. Take care of your dad. I'm... I will get him to drink water and sleep. You too? I'll pick you up Friday after school. How about pork chops and Brussels sprouts? I'm sorry, do we know each other? Burgers? <laughs> now there's the parent I love most. <laughs> You really do look tired, Dad. Why are all the adults in my life having so many problems? All? You're exhausted, Daddy is lonely, and Brooke is different. How so? The way she dresses and does her hair sometimes. She acts un like when Andy's around. un like She changes things for him. It's like she's constantly trying to make sure he's happy. She even moved her poster from hair out of the living room because he's weird about that stuff. Yeah, sometimes relationships require compromise. I know, but she told me she put it away. I found it in the back of the closet. The frame was broken and the picture was ripped. Well, when we get back, we'll arrange a dinner with everyone. Daddy's been saying we need to get to know him better. Maybe you can help him learn my name. What do you mean? He keeps calling me kid. We can work on that. Good night, Mouse. Good night. Huh. Huh. No. No. Don't stop. Dad! Don't stop! What? Are you okay? I'm 
promise. Everything's fine. That didn't sound fine. Daddy's trying to FaceTime. What? I called him. Justin? Good night. I love you both. Love you. Love you. Justin, look. Oh, the wildest thing happened in the bookstore today. You don't say. Yeah, it, I mean, like, epic level proportions wild. There was this guy, and he came in line, you know, to get his book signed, but he, he brought with him one of those wacky, flailing arm inflatable tube guys. He must have had his ring to some kind of mechanism, because he just pulls out this little a true luck dragon, like my Michael, does everything from the heart. He can advise and guide those who have given up or lost hope. If fortunate enough to be on the receiving end, you always know it comes from a place of love. He is loyal to a fault and will stop at nothing to protect those around him. He would risk his life to save another. Being loved by and returning that love to a luck dragon is one of the greatest gifts life could bestow. You have a good day at school. Don't you mean lunch? Nope. I'm on Michael time right now. I need caffeine. <laughs> Perfect. Luck dragons, however, have another side. They occasionally lose faith in their ability to maintain who and what they strive to be. They feel lost when their strength and purpose wavers. It is in those moments you will both be forced to recall they are indeed human. Be there for them. Whether they ask or think they need it, even luck dragons need saving sometimes. <laughs>